I first visited Kyoto in July of 2022, when the city was all but empty as tourists were not allowed in. I decided to come back in November the same year to see the difference, and so what exactly do I do? What's changed? Let's have a look. So unlike last time I had three weeks in Kyoto, today I have one and a half days. So you might think, what am I going to choose to do in that time? Well, I'm going to do something old and something new. Something old is I am having a lovely walk first along the river and then into the olden part of Kyoto to one of my favourite places from last time, the Philosopher's Walk. Because last time there was no one there but two people and some cats. So I'm curious with the country open now if that's going to be very different. Then afterwards, well, I didn't actually know how many Pokemon centers there were in Japan, so I've made it my aim to go to all of them that I can visit, and there's one in Kyoto. So historic town first, and then to the main area of Kyoto. Already as I left the J everywhere, it's that little bit here, as I have booked the main tour for the That really changed. Here I am, want to want to walk the path the other way this time. And ahead of me, I can already see 20 people, so it's a lot more busy. Kyoto has changed. Like I said earlier, the last time I walked this path, there was two people and some cats. Before even stepping foot on the path this time, I'd seen more people. The water is still just as clear. And this time the water is really bring it out. There has been a constant set of people, but this time, now that I've walked it a little bit further across it, there's not that many. Which is still a lot more than last time. But I think it's getting dark and I'm walking away from the main city here. So, that kind of makes sense. Oh, it's nice to be back in this place. And there we go. It's the end of the walk. And it's not even dark yet. So I'm just going to wander around until I feel like stopping. You maybe have to hear in the background, but there's some music going on. There's a Kyoto University Festival on today. I tried to register online, it says nope, we're full. So, it's the kind of thing where if you knew in advance, that'd be great. But I, I don't know how I'd ever find that out other than literally walking past and hearing the music, so. Oh well, back to the original plan. There we go, last thing for today is I got this thing to I wanted I wanted one of these for a while. But I hadn't seen them, I'd just seen the fat there, I got not the original to have So I'm heading home now. There's a donkey over here, but I know it sells milk, so that's cheating. Um and I don't have a fridge. So I won't be getting any suddenly, but I will be heading in that direction and we'll see what we do tomorrow. And I wasn't sure if I just turned up at the right time or if they didn't do it when I last came, but it was a beautiful water show. This hallway, the Pokemon Center, and the light show was my first night in Kyoto, and already there was so much more I didn't see in three weeks. Yeah, I looked for that last time and couldn't find it. And I've arrived in the Kyoto apartment. We have a bed set table, a bed, and nothing else, but I'm here for two days and I've got things to do, so that's fine. I want to give props to the bed sheets here, being the most comfortable I've had ever in Japan. Look, the bed's not the comfortable, but the sheets are oh, it's good. Now, there was one thing when I visited Kyoto last that I came to do, but sadly it was just a little bit too late, and that was to go into the main Kyoto Imperial Palace grounds. Um, so, that is my objective for today. I have returned, and there is even an event on. So, 
Turns out maybe that was worth messing last time after all, so hopefully I can get in this time because it's been raining because it might close it or something, I don't know. We'll find out. I must say, I forgot how big these grounds were. This massive building, I thought, oh, there's no one around it. Maybe it's closed. And I forgot there was another one, and that's actually the main one. And that was the gardens I went in last time or something. And here we are. I have made it. The event is in 20 minutes. I don't know where it is. I'll look around and then figure it out. I haven't actually made a footing here before. I think I have. So I came to the tower today because I thought I hadn't been. Now I'm here, I'm like, wait, I recognise everything. I remember I missed it last time, but I guess I must have come back. Man, I've done so much, I forget what I've done. But all that's not lost is there is an event on today. And 20 minutes, that should make the journey worth it. Snippet of that. So I just wanted to kind of chill and enjoy it for myself. And my thoughts wandered as the music played and as the dancing happened. That was kind of nice. And now I'm on my way to what I believe is my other favourite part of Kyoto. Because if I'm revisiting the city, why wouldn't I go there? Um, so let's see what Fushimi and Nari looks like. Well, I have arrived. And again, even on a rainy day, it's a more busy. Well, the rain has quieted down a bit, but the people certainly have not. And the thunderstorm has not quite that. Although we're everyone in the rain, this is a definite different experience than last time. Although you cannot see me now, it must be said. But there is a very different feeling here. When before it was a tranquil walk where I made a friend and now it is almost a bustle with people. I wonder if I was to climb up much further, if that would change. But I will not be doing so in this weather and the thunderstorms before it gets to nightfall. So we will just enjoy what there is for me. And in truth, having climbed already once, while I did intend to climb the whole thing today, in this weather, I do not feel like a climb with slipperiness underfoot. So, I have reached this point, and that shall do. <laughs> and as it turns back, I didn't go this way on the way back last time. It's not all for naught. Now, I'm back here after that walk, and I think that's basically it for today. I'm gonna go out and eat and then come home and relax and be off again tomorrow. God, my hair's a mess, who cares? Into Kyoto stations. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and um, last thing, I went to the B-Side store. I got one sticker, and they gave you another one for free, which is the first in a store there, so that's pretty cool. Check it out. Take care. <laughs>